My first impression of Tannenberg on Xbox One, I would say it's very slow paced and a clunky game. I mean, it is a $20 game, but I thought it would look a little bit better to be honest, considering how far gaming has come over the years. I was going to show my first match, but sadly my game crashed right after I got a couple of kills. So I played a few hours of it and had a couple of decent games. I'll just give you my simple breakdown of it so far. I was hoping there would be maybe one or two automatic guns to choose from. Unfortunately, there are no fully automatic guns except for the machine guns that are scattered throughout the map. That's it. You start with a rifle, a pistol, a melee weapon, and maybe a grenade. That's it. It's very straightforward. As far as the game modes, you have three main ones to choose from. You have Maneuver, which is up to 40 players, 20 on each team. Then you have Team Deathmatch with 16 players, 8 on each team. And then you have Rifle Deathmatch, which is also up to 16 players with 8 on each team. All of the game modes are supposed to have bots as well, to make it feel like more of an engaged battle, if that's the right way to put it. And Rifle Deathmatch hardly has any players in it so far. I haven't even seen 15 people in the entire game mode. Everybody else is in Maneuver or Deathmatch. If you are playing Team Deathmatch, just to give you an indication of how that works, if you get 10 or 15 kills, you are doing extremely well. It's very slow paced. Running around is not a great idea. If you get in a decent position, Staying there is the better idea, definitely. There is an option for custom games, but you do have to choose from those game modes. With all that being said, so far is the game worth $20? I know a lot of people are going to ask me that, and I've already had people ask me that. And my answer is, if you like single shot iron sight guns, then yeah, it's only $20, so it's not like you're going to lose the whole bank. But for a guy like me who is a run and gun, aggressive type of player, it's not really a game for you. I can already tell you I will not play this longer than a month or two since there are no full auto submachine guns on the game. Like I said, I was expecting at least one or two, but this is definitely not Battlefield 1. It may have a lot of similarities to Battlefield 1, but that is the biggest difference. No full autos. I really think that this should have been a free game. This is the first day of the Xbox launch, and so far this morning we have averaged between 300 to 600 players so far. That is not very impressive for the opening day launch of any video game. If it was free, there would be at least 20 times the amount of players on here, or maybe more. So you take that however you want to take that. Like I said, it's a $20 game. It won't break the bank. I bought it because there have been zero decent looking shooter games made this year so far. And I thought I'd give it a try, but we'll see. Hopefully some improvements are made soon. This is the first day of the Xbox launch, so we will see. Anyways, those are my thoughts so far. I've barely played it so far. I'll be streaming the game on Twitch over the next few days, so come and say hi later on. I'm going to let you guys enjoy the rest of the gameplay so far. The gameplay and the audio is live from a past broadcast. Enjoy. Uh. 
Alright guys, that's gonna do it for me. I've had enough already. <laughs> that's the best game I've had, it's 12 and 6, so I'll catch you all later. I'll probably stream this later on today or something.